Our today's topic is about type of hatchery and their operation. So what is hatchery? Hatchery is a building in which the hatching of fish and poultry eggs is artificially controlled for commercial purpose. Type of hatchery Traditional hatchery, modern hatchery and Chinese hatchery. So first traditional hatchery, it has four types earthen hatching pits, earthen pot hatchery, double clothing hatching hapa, floating hapa. In modern hatchery, there are two types vertical and circular. Further in vertical, there are two types glass jar hatchery, plastic bucket hatchery. In circular hatchery, there are two types CIFD 80 model, CIFD. 81 model and finally Chinese hatchery. So first of all we talk about earthen hatching pit. The earthen hatching pit size is 3 into 2 into 1 dimension. The pits are dug in several rows and inner wall are plastered with mud that is red soil. Fertilized eggs are put in pit hatching in 24 hours. We have to manage proper water flow, proper aeration and we have to remove waste. After 3 days when yolk sac are absorbed, available spawns is collected with piece of cloth and then transferred into nurseries. Then earthen pot hatchery. There are ports uh, we, which we arrange in particular series, particular row. Fertilized egg put in earthen pot, arrange in particular way. It is cheap, easily replaceable, but its disadvantage is that it is opaque. It is not transparent. We can't. Uh, we can't look inside the port because it is opaque, not transparent. Now, double cloth HAPA and floating HAPA. Double cloth HAPA is uh, this process is started in 1976. It has two rectangular HAPAs, outer HAPA and inner HAPA. Outer HAPA made of closed matched cotton cloth and inner HAPA made of round matched mosquito netting cloth. The depth of both neta, uh, uh, both HAPAs are different. Inner HAPA is 30 cm depth and its capacity is 75,000 to 1 lakh X. We can put in it. Uh, after inner hatching, the, uh, the geese. Uh, move from inner to outer HEPA and they uh, kept in outer HEPA for 48 hours till yolk sac absorbed and floating HEPA is improved version of double cloth hatching HEPA HEPA is mounted on floating HEPA is mounted on frame which are made by joining polythene or aluminum pipe Then modern hatchery, modern hatchery, uh, glass jar hatchery and plastic bucket hatchery. So first of all we talk about glass jar hatchery. It is India's first transparent modern hatchery method. It has breeding tank, incubation tank, hatchery unit and spawnery unit. The tank capacity is uh, approximately 5000 liter 5500 liter and water source uh, must be fresh water pond water or underground water it has cylindrical shaped glass jar and with conical bottom and its capacity is 6.35 liter capacity and 5 lakh eggs can be kept in single jar next plastic bucket hatchery 
the diagrams are given in uh, presentation you can uh, see it here then plastic bucket hatchery plastic uh, bucket hatchery is made up of two par uh, two parts outer plastic bucket and inner part plastic bucket outer plastic bucket is made up of aluminum and inner plastic bucket is uh, made of galvanized iron sheet a uh, plastic bucket have three outlets and its capacity is uh, 40 to 50 liter capacity circular modern hatchery uh, cif d80 and cif d81 model so first of all we talk about cif d80 model its this name is given after its ex director of cif dr sk dwedi it has two types of tank in incubation tank and egg collection tank its capacity is about 50 lakh eggs can be kept in it uh, management of environment factor temperature oxygen water flow movement of egg are easily can be maintained in this model this hatchery then cif 80 d81 model it is improved version of 80 model um, it was started in 1981 breeding and hatching unit with water spray arrangement and aeration uh, in cif 81 d81 model there is good uh, arrangement of water spray and aeration next chinese hatchery it has four types of uh, tanks and or we can say chambers overhead tank spawning pool egg collection chamber incubation and hatching chamber spawn collecting chamber uh, five chambers there are some advantages and disadvantages of chinese hatchery its advantages is its minimum uh, minimum requirement of labor cost much larger quantities of eggs can be accommodate uh, less damage of fertilized egg and spawns at the time of transfer from breeding pool to nursery pond because they both are connected then water flow and thus the temperature can be maintained during hatching it ensure high hatching success as good and clean water replacement is possible and the dis disadvantages are initial cost of setup is very high proper technical application has to be maintained regarding fitting of pipe direction and amount of water flow due to the absence of proper spanery total removal of shells unhatched egg and death spawns and larvas are not possible so this is all about hatchery if you like my video hit the like button and subscribe my channel and share it with your friends thank you for watching